This week on uh, Handyman Corner, we're going to get uh, up close and personal about your plumbing. Or I should say your house is plumbing. You know, uh, the word plumbing actually comes from the ancient uh, Roman uh, word for lead, which was plumbum, which was actually uh, Harold's nickname for a while. And now, of course, uh, the ancient Romans, they used lead for all their water pipes. Uh, they're all dead now. Now, there's, uh, there's two sides to plumbing, really. There's a supply and demand, or uh, drainage, drainage. Now, the drainage side, you got the big pipes there, and you got holes in the ground, and you got you know what, you know? And I'll tell you something. Paying 50 bucks to a professional to handle that is well worth every penny. But now the supply side, that's a different kettle of fish entirely. It's so darn easy, an idiot can do it, and I can prove it. So what you want to start with is uh, copper pipe, not lead. And uh, you can get it any length, but we kind of like, uh, like the 12-foot lengths. Because uh, we get it in the 12-footers. Because uh, we get it in the... We get it in the 12 foots because we just find that it with the 12 footers. Uh, it's just easier to work with. Okay, so uh, once you've got your copper pipe, uh, what you want is to get some uh, fittings so that you can go around joists and beams and maybe pictures or whatever it is that you just don't feel like moving. So you got your various kinds of fittings here. You got your 45 degree elbow. You got your 90 degree, which come in left and right. Of course, they don't mark them, you know. So what I do is I just, I buy them by the box and they generally work out around 50-50. <laughs> and then you got this unit here, which uh, I guess would be 180 degree elbow. And uh, this one, which goes right on the end of the pipe, which is a 360. <laughs> and then uh, you got your T joiner for joining two pipes to one. And you got your Y joiner for any of you who have not yet joined the Y. <laughs> a little plumbing humor there. All right, once you've got your pipe cut up into the various lengths that you need, you get them all together and uh, you got to rough up the ends of the pipe so the solder will uh, stick to them. It almost looks like something that Zamfir would play, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, when it comes to uh, roughing up the pipes, uh, there's an easy way to do that, uh, using the belt sander. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, now we can assemble the piping. Uh, we take the elbows and uh, fill them up with grease. Not elbow grease, but this other stuff, it's called flux. And you stick it right on there. Uh, this is gonna probably take me a little while to put together, so uh, why don't we get on with the show, and when I'm done, we'll come right back. All right, so now you've got your pipe set running from your inlet out to, say, your bathroom or over to your kitchen and up into the laundry room and out into the lawn sprinkler, maybe into your bidet and then uh, out into the spittoon. And once you've got all your joints set like that, you got to now make them real solid by using uh, some sort of a soldering device like this uh, soldering torch. Now, I know some people are nervous about using these torches, uh, but uh, the truth is that they're of absolutely no danger at all uh, for using them around the house as long as you remember to to turn them off, you know. I'm gonna put my matches here. Uh, I know the professionals use the big, the big 20 pounders, uh, but to be honest with you, oh, here we are. To be honest with you, I don't trust those big the propane tanks, you know, I think, I think those darn things could explode on you. <laughs> All right, now, uh, you might want to have a second uh, propane torch around, just as more or less a backup. And uh, and you just uh, heat up the joints until all the flux starts boiling in there, and then just put the solder on there, and she'll just, she'll just melt right in there. Just, just that easy, really. Harold, do you want to come in here and light this torch? <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. She's ready to rip. All right, Harold, uh, turn the water on there. Oh, 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 hold it, 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 hold it. There, that's got her that time. We got her, we got her, Harold. Let her rip, let her go. Hold it, hold it. You have to turn it on so hard, Harold. <laughs> All right, that looks better. We got her. All right, Harold, turn her on, gently. Perfect. And that's all there is to it. So until next time, remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs>
after I turn the water on here. 